What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by iBoySoft, and we're taking a look at their really, really awesome data recovery software. Now, this thing is capable of recovering anything on your Mac, and the really special thing about it is that it is ca compatible with the T2 security chip and, of course, supports the M1 MacBook, which is an issue a lot of people have been having because a lot of traditional data recovery software has not been compatible with the T2 security chip, which means you're not able to recover your photos and things when you lose them, and it's just a really, really big problem. Another issue people have had is uh, Mac OS Big Sur. You know, a lot of people upgraded and then they couldn't use their recovery software and actually recover things on Big Sur. Don't worry, this thing is compatible with that as well, which is really, really awesome. So, what exactly is it capable of doing? Well, of course, the APFS is the default file system on a Mac running Mac OS 10.13 or later, and this thing supports it 100%. What is it capable of recovering, though? Well, it can go ahead and recover your office files, photos, videos, audio, and, of course, emails and other archives really, really quickly. Now, if you don't want to recover things from your Mac or a hard drive, you can go ahead and recover things from your SD card because, let's be real, we all have deleted some photos off an SD card or formatted it by accident, and now we have a big problem on our hands. What can we do? Well, what we do is we jump into this software, and here is something in between. It's not my system, however, it's not an SD card either. This is an external hard drive. kind of counts as both, so we're going to go and use this to scan. Now, as you guys can see, it's saying scanning lost data. It may take a long time. I'm hoping it doesn't take a long time, but we're going to go ahead and see how long it takes because this thing is scanning one terabyte. But I am faithful because it says it's already scanned around 800 gigabytes out of my one terabyte, so that's pretty good, and we're already at 70. As you can see, it is currently bringing up all the different files that are already located on this drive, and then it's going to go and look for all the things that it can piece back together that have been deleted. On the left, we can see photos, documents, audio, video, emails, and other. All of that is already on there, but let's see. Can this thing bring back some things that is no longer on there? 97%? Ah, there we go. We are done, which is really, really cool. Now, for the sake of this video, I went ahead and deleted some things off this drive that I really, really need. And, of course, I went and moved them to trash. I deleted them permanently. They're good to go forever, or so we thought. And yet, here they are. As you guys can see, here is a random PNG thumbnail that I went ahead and deleted earlier. All I have to do is click Preview, and now I'm able to see that, huh, this image is perfectly fine. How cool is that? Then, of course, another interesting thing I can go ahead and do is, of course, bring back a video. So I deleted a video as well, and let's see if it is capable of bringing that video back. How insane is that? As you guys can see, here we are. I'm going to hit play, and lo and behold, this thing plays. How awesome is that? And if I hit recover, I'm able to recover this in full quality. And as you can see, this is not the only thing it's able to recover. If I jump into a random folder, look how many random images and videos we're taking a look at from a random color trip how wild is that and it gives me a thumbnail preview right here before I even hit the preview button for a lot of these images how awesome is that for example if I click this one here's a really awesome picture of Colorado that you know what I actually want to set as my desktop background now in order to do that I do need the image file itself what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit recover and of course oh I did not select so you do have to hit the little checkbox here and let's go ahead and hit recover. By the way, guys, if you hit deep scan, which is down here, it's going to take a lot longer, but it's going to be able to really go deep in there and see if you have deleted anything. For example, if you do a normal scan and nothing pops up, you can go ahead and do a deep scan and maybe things will pop up. So we're going to go and hit save. And logic says it should have created a brand new folder in my downloads folder. And I'm hoping there is this particular awesome image inside of that folder. So, of course, let's go ahead and open up my downloads. And as you can see, it created a brand new folder. In it, I'm hoping it says CO, Texas, and um, New Orleans. So, let's see if this thing can bring that particular file up. And lo and behold, there it is. And inside of here, once we give it a second or two, hopefully it is able to bring back that awesome little JPEG of ours. How cool is this Right there. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually play this, and I'm hoping it's in full quality. Or not play it, but just open it. And as you guys can see, it is full quality down to that little streak that was in the sky during that time. And this is a 4K image, so that is big props to them. Look how awesome that quality is. That is amazing. I'm able to zoom up on that random house all the way over here. How cool is that? 
So all in all, guys, go ahead and check this software out below. You can also recover music and videos and all of that. Simply go ahead and hit preview or, of course, go ahead and hit the recover button if you want the file back. It's just really, really cool. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the link below. If you guys enjoyed this video, so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.